Before we get into today's mailbag, if we do not get to your questions or if you can't watch our shows live, my DMs are open. You can always fire off your Cowboys questions there. Hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny and get some of the uh, in-bio bots out of the way instead. From Ryan, do you think Lamb will be ready for week one? And we'll, 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 we will kind of go back to back on both of these super thanks here from Ryan and from Richard Robinson as well because they're both they're both very similar. Uh, he says, seat Cowboy, uh, hashtag Cowboys, CD got paid and missed camp. Hopefully he stays healthy and no drop off. It's kind of the, the same question there. Um, or same comment, I guess. Do you trust Lamb to be to be ready to go, to be healthy, to, to not fall off? There isn't the, the there is logic in being worried about a soft tissue injury coming back from uh, from a holdout. The injury data isn't really there. There is anecdotal evidence. There is evidence of play not being as good. I don't know if Lamb's going to put up nearly eighteen hundred yards again this year. That's probably asking for too much. But I do think CD Lamb is going to have a big year. Uh, he has been doing his film study. He's been working out. He's been training. He also got work in with Dak Prescott in the offseason. They did the, uh, the the Dak backyard stuff and trained with, together there. So I am not as worried about C.D. Lamb not, not having been out there as maybe other players I would have been as well. So I feel pretty good about Lamb making an impact from week one all the way into the season. And I do expect a pretty heavily uh, targeted game plan for Lamb this season. So what is your confidence level in C.D. Lamb? Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1 on the low end, 10 on the high end. It will be today's pinned comment. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. We got a $100 super chat from Jacko. We will do the bong slap and shot outside of live, so stay tuned for that, Jacko. I appreciate that. Or not outside of the cut, I should say. So for watch on demand, you should be watching our live shows for stuff like that. Me getting slapped with the tortilla. Uh, Jerry's got five to eight years left. It's Dak or no one. I have long subscribed to the theory that Jerry doesn't have time for a rebuild. And Jerry said stuff like that previously. I also wonder who's in charge, though, right? Because Jerry might decide, well, I, I can still do that in March. And Steven doesn't want to pay money and, you know, the whole, uh, the whole angle of how generational wealth is spent by the children, etc. I, I would agree with you. I also think, like, it, the, their whole handling of everything in the deck has just, it's just been bad the entire time. Because I think you're, you're acknowledging a very real downside here. If you don't have Dak, what the hell is your quarterback plan? Because from what we saw in the preseason, Trey Lance is probably not a very good plan. He's also a free agent. You're going to pick in the, in the 20s, right? Who's, who's going to be there for you? If Shadur's good, he ain't going to be there. Well, you think is, 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 Whatever quarterback emerges isn't going to be in the 20s. So you run into some very dangerous situations. From Jacko again, a 20 buck Super Chat. Sign Dak to whatever and go all in before the party. Go out with the Super Bowl, Jerry. Look, I, this is what I would do. I think, I, I think you have two viable plans here. And you missed the boat, frankly, for both of them. Plan number one was be ag- And if you wanted to make a plan two, whatever, it's fine. Be aggressive. Spend your money. Pay Dak. Pay Lamb. You could have paid both those guys and freed up 30-something million dollars with the salary cap space. And you could have spent money on a, a, a running back, a tackle, another defensive lineman, added talent, gotten better on paper, and said, let's set up this three to four to five year window and try to win with what objectively is actually a pretty good core. Dak and Lamb and Micah and Trayvon Diggs and Deron Bland, etc. That's actually a pretty good core overall. Like that's, that's not bad at, at all. That's probably a top five core, top ten core in football. A lot of teams would take that. It's no Mahomes led core, but no one else has that. Or if you're convinced it's never going to be good enough, you, you could have tore it down. Said, Dak, we love you. Let's trade you. We'll take whatever we can get. How would have cut him? And it's freed up my cap space long term. And how am I going to spend next year? And bottomed out, played Trey Lance for a year, either been tank commander or developing Trey Lance, be it have a new QB in Lance, or be it have a top ten pick. They didn't do anything. So I'm going to be the exact same spot in March with a lot less wiggle room and flexibility. 
Today's show is made possible by Prize Picks. Download the Prize Picks app today and use code CLNS and get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code CLNS on Prize Picks to get $50 instantly when you play five. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It is guaranteed. Prize Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app. Over 5 million active members. In season, one Caleb Williams passing yard gets you one win on Prize Picks every week in September. It's an automatic win for your slates. Four weeks of free dubs in September. Don't miss this deal on Prize Pick because when September ends, it is gone. Prize Picks also invented the flex play, which means you can still cash out if lineup isn't perfect. You can miss one. I'm doing flex play on this one, too. This is my receiver. Injured guys. I feel all of a sudden way better about T. Higgins than I did uh, when I took this you know, a month and a half ago. Cooper Cup, I, I am in on as well. And also Calvin Ridley. So, again, download the Prize Picks app today. Use code CLNS to get $50 instantly when you play five. Link will be in the comments section and the description of today's show. Another $100 super chat from Jacko. It's going to be a fun, fun live show after party for me. He said he means before Jerry's party is over. He went to Super Bowls on the way out. That's actually how I interpreted it. Maybe I didn't answer it quite that way, Jacko. But that is what I thought you meant there. And again, I agree. You can either be aggressive and try to win games now or start to rebuild. Doing neither helps maintain you as a 10-win team. Team. But I got questions beyond that right there. On a similar note from Cameron Carson, is Dak gone without a new deal before the season? I wouldn't be surprised. Again, we've had this conversation before with Dak. He is in a very unique situation. All these other extensions that you see happen, there's something that has gives the team leverage. Two years of franchise tag, uh, uh, the, uh, the threat of a trade, you know, play out your contract. Dak did that twice already now. He did it previously in Dallas. I think I saw the stat of, I think it was his last six years or his last eight years. I, I want to say it's the last six years. No, maybe it's the last eight years. Um, whatever it is. Half of that time, he's been playing in a contract year. That, that, that does not happen in the NFL. It just doesn't. Cowboys want to be different, okay. This is where being different gets them. And there's nothing stopping Dak from potentially going, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go somewhere else. Bye. So is this Dak's last year in Dallas? Y for yes, N for no. Get those predictions in for me in the comments section of today's show. Tex Finney had a deja vu dream that Dak got injured running a touchdown in. I know that sounds funny, but hey, man. Deja vu is real. Hopefully that, that never happens. Knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't. The thing that doesn't get mentioned very often, and probably because he played every game last year, I would like be worried about the injury stuff with Dak. Yeah, that ankle popped him a few times in camp, just, just saying. I think injury concern is actually maybe a valid reason to like have pause when it comes to paying him. Now, that's a complicated conversation, but... You know, that's, sometimes he pushes himself a, a bit too hard, and maybe that was the issue in, in camp. But like I, I, I would put injury concern as a very valid potential flag for you. Blake Bennett, is there a downside to everyone being in a prove-it year? You know, you know, even Dak and Jerry both said they think there's benefits to being in a, in a got to do it all or we're going to lose our jobs and you know, motivation stuff. There is a downside. And we saw it the very last time an NFL team had a head coach and a quarterback in a contract year. It was Dak Prescott and Jason Garrett. That was the last time it happened. And what happened, it got a little toxic in that locker room. Because it's not just the players and some of your front office members and your coaches. It's all of it. You know, if things get a little, a, a little bit dicey, are they going to feel confident in – hey, you know what, we're going to do what's best for the team. Let's make sure we're going about the process the right way. Or does I got to look out for number one start to creep in, in into the equation? And if that happens, it can turn ugly real fast. 
So what is your record prediction for the Cowboys in 2024? Go ahead and sound off for me in the comments section of today's show. Today's Cowboys mailbag made possible by Jacko. Another $100 super chat. Says Jerry and Steven live close to me and real close to each other. Water balloons? I feel like the lawyers here would tell me to not confirm nor deny if that's a good idea or not. Because um, I feel like that that's how the, 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 the Cowboys legal team gets you in trouble with the police or something. It would be pretty funny, though. The Cowboys Report live show schedule, made possible by Jacko. Monday, 3.50 p.m. Eastern Time. Thursday, 3.50 p.m. Eastern Time. And every single game day, that's what it will be for the regular season. Some adjustments might get mixed in there with, you know, like, ah, oh, Thursday, they're live with the Thursday Night Football game. We'll adjust as needed, but that's going to be your general show schedule. From Liam Tucker, $10 Super Chat. We've been top three in flags for like all of McCarthy's years in Dallas. I think that there's any sure indication of a bad coach, it's a lack of discipline. I'm fine keeping Dak, just don't keep Mike too. That is what I had said uh, at the end of this past season. <laughs> Can't, you couldn't keep both of them, and yet they chose to. It also didn't pay any of them either. If things go the way I think most of us are think it's going to go, they'll win 10-ish games, maybe a playoff game, but lose again. You do need real change. You can't just... Like, if, if you can't just, you know, do nothing again and say, ah, we'll write it, we'll, we'll, you know, write it again and go, ah, this time it'll be different. You have to have some real change. And that's one of your quarterback or head, or head coach. It is. Clayton Lockhart. Only two active QBs have won a Super Bowl since 2016, Mahomes and Stafford. Why is it that only Dak is asked to take a discount while the other QBs are getting paid? You can also expand this, like, who's made a conference championship game, and there's still a lot of QBs that don't fit that mold. That, that is part of it. Look, honestly, it's the Cowboys and all the stuff that goes along with that. It's, it's not having been to a conference championship game in almost 30 years now, let alone a Super Bowl. It's the heartbreaking playoff losses. It's, it's the attention that comes along. I mean, shit, I was watching ESPN – and they were out there doing ridiculousness and talking about Shadur Sanders on the first weekend of college football to Dallas. Why? That's just dumb. So it's part of the attention, part of the clicks, part of just everything that goes along and just the overall long lack of longevity that's been involved with the Dallas Cowboys. It's another $100 super chat from Jacko. He says, this is for Olivia. I appreciate that, Jacko. You're very kind. Everyone spam Jacko for me in the comment section of today's show. From Ian, names to watch for possible wide receiver two type trades if Cooks cannot stay on the field. I don't know. I, I don't. Like Cortland Sutton, the Broncos allegedly said no to a third. Like that's like a wide receiver two name that's available. I, or I think maybe was available. Um, like I just, I, maybe a team ends up being bad and they, they sell. I don't know if there's a great option out there for you, frankly.